Hey guys, welcome to a new video featuring the new Dugu Yani quest, which is almost essential for a new min-max style. It can give you plus 30 starts of your choice, which, like those starts I talk about, are fist, sword, blade, long, sword, music, and or throwing. Now the quest is relatively simple, you just need to talk to Dugu Yanyi in the Langya Pavilion, afterward you unlock the underground arena, or you already have unlocked it previously. Now there's a lot of dialogue you can skip. Here by stealing you actually get some throwable weapons, then you can skip some more. It's a really relatively simple quest, but I'd also like to showcase an option later on. Now you are forced into two or potentially three fights depending on whether you have your persuade skill leveled up. They are all relatively basic, I think the highest enemy is level 40. But the idea is uh, Dugu Yanyi wants to participate in the underground arena to like sharpen his skills. Then he comes across an arrogant young master, so typical novel, cultivation novel stuff figures out the young master did a lot of evil deeds, as such he wants to take revenge by killing him. And this is exactly what we're doing, we're now hunting down the young master of the Zheng family. And here is the potential third battle, but which can be skipped with a persuade skill of two. And now what happens is we have killed the young master and a letter is going to be posted on the bulletin boards in Lenan city. Now Dugu Yanyi does not want to write down his own name in case his master blames him. As such we get different options. So if you are a Janghu master, a Janghu conqueror, a peak of Janghu, you get the corresponding options. If not, you are only left with nameless and heaven and earth. Now the joke by the way is all the three bottom options, all the interesting options provide nothing. No reaction, no buff, nothing. Which is really sad. Whereas picking Nameless and or Heaven and Earth actually grants you some Jang Hu knowledge. In the case of Heaven and Earth some additional fame. And for Nameless 20 Righteousness, for Heaven and Earth 20 Courage. Like if I pick Jang Hu Master or Peak of Jang Hu, nothing happens. But now let's talk about the min-max aspect of this quest when going back to the pavilion, the Langya Sword Pavilion, the pavilion master Jian Shi offers to train you, they give you some advice, and you have all these options, the option you pick you will get plus 30 in. So if this for example is a sword run, by just picking swordsmanship or just sword you get plus 30 sword. And so it's a really easy quest you can do to get some additional value out of your character. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.